struggling with the one so one way system. Good evening everybody, Calm Biker here and I'm going to try and make this bit really quick because the bit that follows it is going to be probably quite long. I've just been to see Tosh 23. I thought I was going to help him uh, record a video of him doing a chain realignment and tensioning and what have you so that we could video it with extra cameras and I could learn how to do it. And I thought we were doing it on his bike he thought we were doing it on my bike, but uh, it's only a couple of thousand miles since I had my rear tyre changed for me. And the chain tension and alignment on my bike is pretty much bang on. However, on the way there, I realised that I've got a little problem with my rear brake. And I don't know what's caused it, I don't know if I've got a bit of grease in there or something, but um, since my last ride, when I went out to see him, I noticed my rear brake wasn't giving me the feel that I'm used to. Had no stopping power at all. Not that I really use it for stopping. Other, other, uh, get me words out. Any than any other than the last kind of 15 feet of a stop. Um, but it didn't give me the stability that I'm used to. It just wasn't biting in the same way that I like it to. So we took the opportunity to record that instead. Record uh, me with uh, quite a lot of help from Tosh, stripping down the rear brake, uh, checking everything and rebuilding it. So I thought I'll show you that. And because I went round with spare cameras for Tosh, we actually managed to get five camera angles. So I might even do a bit of a Jim Payne with lots of camera angles going on. So I hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Good evening, Calm Biker here. And today I've changed my complete appearance just for you and I'm in some way different for you. But I am Calm Biker. <laughs> no, hello my <laughs> spanning chums, he's a bloody idiot. We got a special guest today. Yes, we have got Richard, Mr. AKA the Calm Biker, Rain God. Hello. Say hello. hello. Spin it around. I'll spin it around. Hello. Hello. Hello my spannering chums. Go on, you say it. Hello my spannering chums. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so light. Couldn't it? Jesus. Right, well. There's going to be a lot of outtakes in this. Yeah, I'll do a lot of editing anyway. <laughs> um, today I was going to do a video on his chain with him adjusting his chain, cleaning, adjusting, setting, everything like that. It's fine, his bike's fine, it's gorgeous, like it always is. So, when I went to meet him, he's turned up and he said his back brake's playing up. So he is going to get dirty and I'm going to stay nice and clean. I'll be holding the camera, he'll be getting dirty. So he's Tosh, I'm Richard. How are you doing? Right, ladies and gentlemen, here is Richard. Say hello Richard one more time before he gets his hands dirty. Now, this is his bike. It is a XJ6? Six. Yes. It's an XJ600 Diversion. And it's brand new. Uh-huh, brand new. It's gorgeous. I like it. Yes, he loves it. The trouble with it, he's turned up and his brake, his rear brake, is a little bit iffy. So, what we're going to do is this gorgeous bikey is going to go under the hands of this man here. Now, Richard has never worked on his bike before. He's a techno man. He knows more about computers than most people dream of. He doesn't get his hands dirty. Today he is. He's going to go and strip his brakes, clean them, put them back together, and then he's going to smile about it. Hee <laughs> hee! As he always does. Hee <laughs> hee! Bear in mind that this here is the person who managed to do an oil change and wreck the filter. Yes! And he actually busted the torque wrench. Well, the torque wrench came busted. That was the problem. Yeah, okay. Do we believe him? No. <laughs> right. He first is of special. All, he needs to get the pins out. As any of you lot should see. Do I trust him with that? <laughs> do I trust me with this? Do I trust him with that? Right. 
There's a hammer. What am I doing? Right. Pin. Yeah. Right there. You put that in. Yeah. Is this one of them magic... Uh, yeah, it's one of the magic things, things, yes. Right. So you put that in, get it right and good in the slot, make sure it's nice and tight. And a tap? Yeah, just a tap. And again. Bit harder, bit harder. And again. And again. That's it. So he's going to undo the grub screw. All the way out? Yeah, all the way out. Don't lose it. Oh, he's lost it. <laughs> Heavens above, he's lost it. Hang on, let me get the... Um... Magnetic tray. Because you know what he's like. I managed to lose a boat off this and go to the shop to look at buying another one. Five quid. For a boat? For a boat. One of the stainless, well they're not stainless clearly. But I actually found it in the end and it was stuck to the bottom of my one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is how hopeless I am. <laughs> but you'll get there. We'll get there in the end. Right. Hey, we're cooking with gas now. Come on. Yes, we are. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it. Okay. This out, yeah, it's Lefty Lucy. Who's she? Who, Lucy? No, 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 don't, don't. Bounce it. Sorry? Bounce it. If you, that, yeah, that's it. So, and you grab, there you see, see how easy that was? You gradually put more pressure on it. Right, stop there, that'll do. You don't need to take it all the way out. Okay. And now we need to get the two nuts off. Which two? That, that one, one. That, that one. one. Right here. So that should be a 12. And that one's bigger. That's your 12. So yep. Same again? Yep. Has this got a release mechanism or is it just pull? Just pull. Pull the bloody thing! Is it lefty loosey? Yep. So bang that one with your hand. That's it. All the way off? Yeah, yeah, take it all the way up. Ooh, a bit of copper slipping in. So whoever was in there last knows what they're doing. Yeah, too much copper slip on that though. Whatever you done. Uh, no, no, you can't be a good bit of copper slip. Now you need a 14. I need a 14, sir. Yes. And here's one I made earlier. Grazie. Bang it with your... That's it, like that. Go on, keep going. It's it, one. And again. And again. There we are. Is this going to fall off? Then, this? It won't. Well, don't take it all the way out. Just leave it as that now. Alright. Now we need to take the top pin out. This one. All the way? Yeah, take it all the way out. It should just, you should feel it go click, click, click. There you go. What's that bit? That's a pad. Yep. Now the pads, you can take the pads out. They should be able to come out straight away. There's one. Not wrong with that. Don't want to touch it, do I? No. There's two. Not wrong with that. And if you lift the... I need to turn that out. Yes. I don't think we need to re-grease your rubbers, do we? Because they've been copper slipped. Did, did, did. He's got his hands dirty, ladies and gentlemen. It's a miracle. <laughs> oily biker. Yeah, it's car biker's now oily biker. Shouldn't smell of anything. Does it smell? No, it's me. It's just you. It's just me. I thought he was going to kiss it then. Right, so that should come up. And inside there should be... An anti rattle spring. A what now? Anti rattle spring. There. Alright, yeah. Uh, so if you get your two thumbs and push the piston back in. Has it gone back? Nope. Hasn't gone back at all? Nope. No movement at all. Not one tiny bit? Nothing at all. Right, okay, doke. 
Is that my problem? No. That would be your problem, sir. Hey, it's always good to find the problem, isn't it? I hope it's not a big problem, because that's... Mind you, I'm saying that's still under warranty, isn't it? Yeah. So get this and put it over the carcass. You don't want to be scratching anything. So that goes in like that. Right. That goes like that. Yeah. That goes like that. And you want to squish it together, do you? Yes. Yeah. How does it feel? Does it feel like it's moving? Yeah, I think so. Might just need a little bit more pressure than normal. Yeah, that's moved. Yeah, that's moved. That's alright. Just as far as that, is it? Yeah, yeah, you don't need to go far. Basically, it's only just to get your uh, your pads back in. Right, yeah. Oh, so you're just giving yourself a bit of space to play with. Yeah, yeah. Right up. So now... we have learning. Put, yeah, we'll put that away. Let's go to the bench and we'll have a look at your pads. Yeah, all this is a squeal shim. A what now? Squeal. You know when years ago when the brakes used to go and you go Whee! Hmm. It's just, they're, they're, these are squeal shims. Now in here is your brake wear indicator. Are you making and it bigger so they last longer? No, I'm getting all the crud out of it. Ah. As you can see you've got Lots. hundreds of miles left. Hundreds and hundreds. More than hundreds. Well, yeah, right, and thousands. But they do, um, they look all right, actually. Considering the the weather you ride in, they look absolutely fine. And there's me saying, I'm not going to get my hands dirty. I was just thinking of the masterful way that I've managed to get out of doing any actual work. It takes years of practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that way first. And that's it. That's your brakes. Hmm. So the question remains. Yes. Well, it just might need lubing. A lube ball. Right. So I'll put my glove back on and leave you in charge of the camera. Yes. Oh, hang on. Let me take this. <laughs> that's my nice camera. <laughs> Like that. Right, so next. Right. So we have got plenty of lube in there because that should push and come out again, and it does. You can see it come out? Yep. So that's got plenty in there. Same with that one. Right, so we need to get a little bit of copper slip. I don't know why they call it copper slip. What's the other one? It's copper grease. Oh, that bit there. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's basically two rubbers. And the if you lift this up... Oh, that crap. Shouldn't really hang them on there, but it's alright for now. You need to put a little bit of copper slip on there. Just the tiniest of bits. Where's that, sir? That's uh, sh what oh, I call it. Yeah. Just tiny, tiny bit. Try not to get it on the disc. On there? Yeah. Right across? Yeah, well, it's it's all it is is the. I'll sh actually, I'll show you. Oh, I too much. It's these. They sit there like that. Right. Okay. So, so it's the these faces. Yeah. And you don't you don't need a lot. It's just to stop it from rusting, really. And if you get any on the disc, it's really easy. You just move the wheel. And wipe it off the disc. Really simple. Now, if you put the caliper back on again, it's caliper gone. I'm looking on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that caliper gone? It's just disappeared. Right. Okay. Now, if you put the rearmost bolt in. Oh, so we don't put the. Not yet. In yet. Oh. No, not yet. Uh, big bolt. Big bolt, which one came out first? The little one, so that's the big one, yeah. That goes in there. And just give it a wiggle while you're putting it in. You should feel it slide in. Yeah? Um, Has it caught the threads? Really. 
You done it? I think so. So that's it. Now it should go on really easy. Yes. That's it. Now it doesn't need to go on any tighter than that for now. Yep. And then you put your other bolt in. And that should slide nice in. That worked straight away, that one, didn't it? Yeah. Now here's the fun bit. That's lovely, that. Here's your pin. I'm assuming it's supposed to move like that. Yeah, it? yeah, it's um, a non-floating disc. Oh, hang on, let me have a look at this. Yes, it needs cleaning. Your pin needs cleaning. There you go. Have a pin. Easy peasy. Alright? Yeah. Just a bit of a... Yeah, I mean, obviously don't go absolutely crazy. You're just getting the... Because it's, it's machined to be a certain diameter, and when rust goes on, the diameter increases. And then that holds your pads to ransom, really. Is it nice and smooth? So long as it's smooth. Are you happy with it? Uh, let me just consult with the expert. Can we up here that? Are you happy with it? I think that's fine. Excellent. Yes. Nice right. one. So, <laughs> bless him. <laughs> this is the fun bit. He has to have three hands all at once. <laughs> Right, okay, so. If you grease up your. I'm trying not to make it sound dirty. If you lube. If you. If you. Use copper grease on that thing. <laughs> That's it. You don't need a lot. That's exactly it. The amount of people that blabber them in it. Not too much? No, no, it's absolutely crap. Absolutely cock on that. I don't want to spend all your copy grease. Oh yeah, well, how much is it? About two pound a tub? That's lasted me nearly two years, that. How many years? Right. So, if you put that pin just in, just in, stop, that's it, lay it there. Now, if you look at your um, pads, they only go in one way. That's the exact way they go in. Try the back one first. Oh, I'm standing in front of your drift. Do you know, right. no matter where many, I stand, we've got that many cameras in I'm here. in front of a camera. So what we're we doing, just... Yeah, put it in and you'll feel it hit the... You know where you copper slip the back plate? Yeah. And now if you push it up, can you feel it? Yes, that's perfect. Absolutely cock on that. Why not going in? Not going in? It should. I don't seem to be enough room for it. Not unless we didn't move the uh, the piston back far enough. Not so much of that, I just don't seem to be enough room for it at all. It's gone on. Do I have to angle it in or something? No, no. Well, it's not, not high enough up, is it? It should do. It's just catching on that notch, isn't it? Oh, look. That is crazy. Room, I've just learned something there. Ladies and gentlemen, just learned something off. Richard, bless him! So I do, I on the diversion, you can only do it if you use one pin, not two. So you have to remove the 12 in order to float up the caliper. Well, bugger me. No, don't really. No, it's all right. We definitely don't need that in No, no, we're not going to do that, are we? So, so that will rotate up now. That's it. Now this just feels loose. There, that looks good to me. Is it? Yeah. Now you need your other brake pad. Yeah. 
which is there. That looks good, yeah? Does that feel are they on the backing plate? You'll soon find out when you put this in. So if you slide that in and use your left hand thumb and push up and down to help the pin slide in. That's it. And you should be able to twist it on just a little bit with a couple of threads. Don't forget to use your thumb. Push the pads up and down. Is it going on easy? Yep. There you go. Excellent. So that 12mm bolt should go back in now. He's giving it a good wiggle. There you are, you see. Correct. Absolutely cock on. Pin first? Uh, yeah, always make sure the pin's right. Told you this stuff's easy. This is when you've got somebody standing. Well, now you only have to do it once, and then you know what you're doing, don't you? So get to the copper slip um, paintbrush what, what and sort of jam that in there. there? Uh, it doesn't have to be tight. Just that's enough, is it? Just for you? yeah. I, I would I would say hand tight and five minutes. Yeah, just jam some copper slip in the in that so it doesn't rust. Stick it in. That's exactly what I do. You watched my video before. Then it's just the grub washer. Uh, yep, that's it. They fit a little bubble, yeah, they're so easy to, to lose. They're called Jesus screws. So that's what you shout when you drop yeah. Jesus, where's that gone? Tightness? Uh, just nip it up. Don't go crazy, that's that. So now you've just got your two, your 12 and your 14. And what we're we looking for on tightness on them? Uh, you know my past history. Of yeah, this. yeah, yeah, it's... Bad. It was, they're not that tight to be honest. I'll check it anyway, but I would say finger tight in 10 minutes. They don't have to be that tight. I'd say they're about 40 to 50 Newton meters, so it's finger tight in 10 minutes. That's it. So you'd be amazed how many bolts on the bike aren't as tight as what you think. That's it. Give it a bit of a clean and I'll... Well, we've we got then. brake clean for that, so... Oh, and then All what right. you have to do is pump, it up. pump your pads so that we know so we know now your brake is absolutely clean we know the pistons push back in we know the piston works we know the brake pads are fine we know your brake pins lubricated and that's free so there is nothing else on your brakes that could go wrong only one thing left is to make sure your disc is free of Contaminants. I guess do I don't need gloves for this guy? Uh, uh, no, you don't need to. You get your hands dirty, though. Well, that's all right. But the gloves are not free of contaminants. Contaminants. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So yeah, just chuck them on the floor. I'll do. I tried to go for the bench. It didn't quite work. It didn't quite. Work. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I certainly enjoyed doing it, and. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much Tosh because I now know how to do something new always good to keep learning and uh, build the confidence up in maintaining as well as riding the bike so thank you very much and thank you everybody else for watching ride safe um, have a look at Tosh's channel as well because he's going to have the same video but with well the same raw footage used to create a video so it'll be interesting to see how different our videos are. So thank you for watching. Ride safe everyone. And I'll talk to you all again soon.